Hi students, um, this video today is a new type of dictation practice. In this video, we are not practicing our poor pronunciation videos like you find on the dictation playlist on my channel. Um, in this video, we are practicing the dictation for citizenship test. So when you, if you apply for citizenship in the United States, there are four sections of the citizenship test. One section of the test is a small conversation um, back and forth that you have with the USCIS, U-S-C-I-S, official. The second part of the test is a small um, reading test where you are given a variety of simple sentences to read out loud to the testing official. The third part of the test is a writing test, which is what we will be practicing with these specific citizenship dictation videos. And then the fourth part of your citizenship test is a general knowledge practicing the 100 questions for citizenship. Um, we are going to have four separate videos practicing this group of vocabulary for the writing test of the citizenship test. Um, linked underneath of this video, down in the notes under this video, I will upload the PDF, the official PDF from the United States government, um, and that will look like this document. You see U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. This is U.S. CIS. This is the official vocabulary that you should know how to write for the writing test from USCIS. Now, do you need to spell everything perfectly 100%? No, but you need to be accurate enough, correct enough that the citizenship official, the USCIS official can recognize what word you are writing for each of the sentences. So again, we are going to have four videos practicing this citizenship dictation. Um, each video will have eight, maybe up to 10 sentences. And these four videos, I hope will help you a lot in your citizenship practice. Okay, let's jump into this, our first video on the citizenship dictation practice. For this dictation, you should have your pen, paper, you should be trying to write. I will read to you the sentence three times and then move on. At the very end, I will re-read the sentences all the way through and then we will review the 10 sentences. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, Washington, D.C. is the capital. Washington, D.C. is the capital. Washington, D.C. is the capital. Number two, California has the most people. California has the most people. California has the most people. Three, Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state. Four. Delaware was the first U.S. state. 
Delaware was the first U.S. state. Delaware was the first U.S. state. Five. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Six. The United States has 50 states. The United States has 50 states. The United States has 50 states. Seven. New York City was the first capital. New York City was the first capital. New York City was the first capital. Number eight. Canada is north of the United States. Canada is north of the United States. Canada is north of the United States. Number nine, the White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Number 10. Mexico is south of the United States. Mexico is south of the United States. Mexico is south of the United States. I hope you're feeling okay with these 10 sentences. Let's go back up to the top and read them again. Number one, Washington DC is the capital. Two, California has the most people. Three, Alaska is the largest state. Four, Delaware was the first U.S. state. Five, Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Six, the United States has 50 states. Seven, New York City was the first capital. Eight, Canada is north of the United States. Nine, the White House is in Washington, D.C. Ten, Mexico is south of the United States. As we are reviewing these sentences, pause the video, check your spelling, um, make sure that your spelling is 
95% correct. The first five here, Washington DC is the capital. California has the most people. Alaska is the largest state. Delaware was the first state. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Pause your video, check your spelling, check the sentence. Moving on, the United States has 50 states. New York City was the first capital. Canada is north of the United States. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Mexico is south of the United States. Pause the video, check your spelling, check your sentences. Okay, that's the end of our first dictation for citizenship dictation practice. Um, in the next few weeks, I will be making two, three, and four complete videos to um, try to capture all of the different writing vocabulary. Again, this is just one out of the four sections of the citizenship test, but it is an important part of the citizenship test. Until next time, students. Bye.